So guys, the APC is still trying to use a Papa Lamidi to work against the Labour Party. This time, a court in Imo State, I mean Imo State, has ruled that a Papa is the chairman of the Labour Party. And one might ask, why Imo State? Is Hope Uzodema trying to use a Papa to destabilize the Imo State Labour Party because of the upcoming governorship election? So guys, let me allow you to listen to what the Labour Party got to say. Take your time and watch this video to the end so that you will understand what it entails. Because of what they want to do or what they want to achieve, you can imagine the lack, the height of lack of integrity in them, which is a paradox to our core value as Africans. The value of integrity, honesty, dedication, loyalty, and these are the qualities that you must find in leaders who are going to govern you. Once these things are not there, then you can imagine the type of nation we are driving. And that is what the Labour Party has come to change. I said it somewhere recently that the Labour Party is self forging Those of us who are seated at the NWC, we are also being very careful to continue to portray the legacy, the core value, the principle, the ideology that surrounds Labour Party, which is social democracy. So please, members of the press, we will crave your indulgence, we will appeal to you not to pay attention to these guys. That is the cross of this. The more you pay attention to them, the more you are dragging the country backward. As you know, the growth and development of the country has been put in reverse gear for more than eight years. And we are all suffering it now. There's the need for us to work together for Labour Party to emerge so that uh, the social democracy, the welfare of Nigerian people, the consideration of development, economic uh, uh, development, I mean growth and development, that is the basis for Labour Party, will now come to manifest. So we need to appeal to you, we are appealing to you, that you should stop giving these people attention. The more you give them attention, the more we continue to drive ourselves backward. Thank you very much. Papa was never the deputy national chairman of Labour Party. So, even in the absence of the national chairman, Akapa has no authority to act for the, as the national chairman of the Labour Party. The Labour Party's constitution provides for three deputy national chairman. Akapa was only a deputy national chairman. And by the constitution of the Labour Party, it is only the national working committee of the party that can fill vacancies when they occur. And as to the restraining order, it was only an interim order which cannot perpetually hang on the neck of any respondent. An interim order is supposed to last the maximum for 14 days. Now, this interim order has been appealed against, and it is now a subject of appeal, two appeals before the Court of Appeal, Abuja. And when the matter has been appealed against, and it's before the Court of Appeal, it is the height of judicial rascality for anyone. It is impertinence and insubordination for anyone to say anything that will prejudge a matter that is before the court of appeal. And that is why no court has ever done anything or pronounced on it. No court has pronounced Akwapa as acting as general chairman. No organ of the party has pronounced Akwapa as acting as general chairman. Akwapa is only legally and unlawfully parading himself as acting as general chairman. As no organ of the party. You see, you don't, you don't serve a point in the political party. This is not a jungle. This is a democratic organization that is guided by the rule of law. You don't serve a point. You don't say now I'm the acting national chairman. He has no, he has, don't, does not have that right, and nobody has appointed him. The matter of the resident order is only an interim order that is the subject of appeal. The, national, the leadership of the party is intact and has no space for a suspended former uh, deputy national chairman. He was uh, only a deputy, not the deputy. That is, he has been misleading the public as if he has a right, as if he's the deputy. The, part, the position of the party provides for three deputy national chairman. chairman and one of them is sitting with us, Dr. Ayola Rupemi, the deputy national chairman of the Labour Party. Okay, uh, the last one, sir, for the Sunday session. Okay. Uh, the, the, the of a press conference by the leadership of the Labour Party addressed by the National Secretary Alaji Umar Farouk Ibrahim today, Friday, 25th of August, 2023. Gentlemen of the press, this conference is called purposely to clear the air on yet another attempt 
by some of our former members who have revealed against the party and who have gone ahead to shamelessly misinform members of the public on the huge progress being made to position Labour Party as one of the biggest political party in Nigeria. As you already know, the party surprising, surprised many Nigerians with the huge success it achieved during the last general election. The party became a household name, all the, at the MB, at all to the MB of the older political parties. You also know how the ruling party forced itself into, the, into power at the expense of the Labour Party and the general public who have voted our candidate massively. We are still in the tribunal challenging both the process and the outcome of the presidential election. In order to ensure a subjugation of the Labour Party, the ruling party has de deployed all manner of strategies to stripple, uh, to stripple the party, part of which was to sponsor insurrection among some suspended former national officers, which is led by Lamidi Apapa and few others. Their assignment was to ensure that no progress is achieved in the party. The heavily funded dissident have tried to mislead the court and some section of the media to harass the party leadership, but all have failed. Only recently, the Court of Appeal sitting in Benin City affirmed Barrister Julius Abure as the substantive national chairman of the Labour Party. Yesterday, the Court of Appeal, Oweri, which sat in Abuja, well giving judgment in the case brought before it by one Basil Maduka, one of the two one of the two aspirants that were deceived by the Apapa camp to participate in their illegal primaries also ordered that the status quo remain with Senator Atan Ochunu as the validly nominated candidate of Labour Party for the 2023 Imo governorship election. It also noted that Basil Maduka has no locus to seek redress in the court as he is not known by the party. For emphasis, you may recall that a Papa group had hoodwinked and arranged governorship primaries for two members of the Labour Party, namely Chief Okaigo Ikechuku and Samaduka. After which Okaigo won the contest, Maduka was picked by the outcome of the PEC primaries and had gone ahead to challenge the emergence of Okaigo. Uh, he sued both Okaibo and the Labidi Apapa. Meanwhile, the Labour Party appealed the Bielsa Court, ruling on the ground that it lacks the jurisdiction to entertain a suit filed by the Apapa camp without putting the leadership of the party, which is known to law, into notice. Senator Achunu, who was also not a party to the suit filed by Samaduka, but on hearing about the matter before the Federal High Court, sought to be joined as an interested party. However, the Court of Appeal re-emphasized the implication of lack of jurisdiction in motion for, for, leave, for leave to appeal as an interested party and held that the motion was filed out of time. Hence, it lacks jurisdiction. It is a tried principle of law as held by the Supreme Court of Nigeria in plethora of cases that where it where it, a court lacks jurisdiction to entertain a matter, it has only one duty, which is to strike out and, and or dismiss the case. Any other thing said or done by it, no matter how beautifully conducted, is null and void, up initial, as you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. This was restated by the Court of Appeal in their well-considered judgment yesterday. To our greatest surprise, Chief Okaigo Ikechuku and his cohorts flooded the social media with yet another propaganda and falsehood that Court of Appeal has declared him the candidate of Labour Party. In a matter, he was neither the plaintiff nor appellant. He also falsely and mischievously interpreted the judgment that Abure was no longer the national chairman of the party. Yesterday's judgment led to rest all those mischief as it reaffirmed the earlier judgment that Chief Basil Maduka is just a middle sum interloper. The appeal court in Edo has since ruled that Abure is the authentic chairman of the Labour Party and anything done under his leadership, including nominating candidate for election, is legal. 
it just means that whoever that is not satisfied with the ruling of the appeal court is permitted under the law to approach the Supreme Court to seek a review of the appeal court judgment. We took time to explain this trajectory because these men are out to ensure that the Labour Party suffers immeasurable and they, immeasurably and they will stop at nothing from achieving the mandate of their sponsors. In conclusion, we state, we state categorically that Senator Achon, Achonu remains the Labour Party's governorship candidate in Imo State as no court has stated otherwise that the Independent National Electoral, Electoral, Electoral Commission has since published his name as the party's candidate. The chief Okaibu Ikechuku Joseph is not the candidate of the Labour Party and that no court, either Federal High Court or Court of Appeal, ever declare him Labour Party candidate. As well, as well, no court in Nigeria has accorded Lamidi Ababa the status of the national chairman of the Labour Party. Senator Achinu has received very wide, wide endorsement by Imolites who are tired of high level of insecurity and maladministration in the state. Our national leader, His Excellency Peter Obi, the Abia State Governor, His Excellency Alex Oti, the Labour Party National Chairman, and his National Working Committee members were there to honor, uh, to honor and declare uh, uh, Chief Ochinu uh, as the substantive gubernatorial candidate of the Labour Party in Imo State. The APC is still working hard in using a Papa Lamidi to work against the Labour Party. This time, a court in Imo State has given a ruling saying that Apapa Lamidi is the chairman of the Labour Party. We all know that Peter Obi said recently that Julius Aburi remains the authentic Labour Party chairman. And this court just came up with the ruling. And one might ask why Imo State is Hope Ozodema trying to use the court to work against the Labour Party because of the upcoming governorship election. So guys, you have seen it for yourself that these people, they don't want to sleep, they don't want to rest. They are just working to make sure they distract Peter Obi from recovering his mandate. But honestly, there is no going back to our new Nigeria because at this time, we are all waiting for the emergence of a new Nigeria and a new Nigeria is possible. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you.